Cowboy Gaming Channel. So Ichiro Jin is released together with the firework event for Hot Hands Thread. What kind of character he is? Let's see at his attribute first. He got 120 stats for 3 points and top tier mid range too. Uh, Jin has a very low resistance. He is way below average compared to mystery 3 point is 110. Mid range is 105 and mystery resistance got 85. So in offensive side, mystery accuracy is much better than Jin for interference shot. Jin wide open tree is the best in the game. If you allow him to shoot and build out his zone areas, it can be brutal. So you must not let this kind of thing happen if you are facing him. His defensive side is much better than Misui though, especially block and jam. Just the running speed is the one holding back Jin. If Jin is defending who has a lot of crossover moves characters, he needs help from teammates. Okay, start to talk about his talent points. First is Jin Zone. What to say? Everything. If you want to save some training cards, please exclude these two small talents. I will exclude it first since you got not much chance to create more than 4 zones. Upgrading the Jin Zone will increase his resistance significantly. If you're able to stack more than 3 stacks, can try shooting a normal interference shot if make it is a bonus to you. Next is 3 points at long range. Same things, it's everything but not the top priority. In order to make this long range shot a threat, you have to add until this big talent's point. For one more movement skill and this branch is very costly. Next is catch and shoot. Another main skill you will use if you're able to create space. Catch and shoot is the most efficient way to score. At least this moving catch in shot is learned. This is crucial. If you slow a bit, the defenders may follow up and you miss the chance. Next is break fast and shot. Another core skill. But do not add this big talent point. Although the blocking point is different but it's much lower than the normal one. It means you give away the best timing to shoot and letting the defender interfere you. So do not, do not, again do not add this one. The side stat is similar to Kogure. If you need create space, longer distance is necessary. And second side step make your rival to guess. Big big however here. Experienced defender will easily differentiate you are using the first side step or the second side step. This is fatal to Jin. And this is the main reason Jin is hard to survive in solo queue. Later in the blocking tutorial, I will reveal the secret. Next is catch and pass. It can skip first or add until this point. Running catch and pass. This is a very good skill to learn. When you attract defenders, you can pass back the ball to your teammate in a very short time for wide open shot. Last one is ulti, also the same. Please keep it first. If you got extra resources, you may add the talent point. One ulti increase two stacks of the zone. It is pretty important too. For a 3 pointer, it is very hard to be very cost effective. The small talent points are very important to them. It increases the accuracy and the effective range. It will directly affect your performance. Let's recap the priority. First is break and fast shot. Second is gin zone. The third one is catch and 3 point shot. The fourth is 3 points at long range. The fifth is ulti. And the last one is catch and pass. So in total of 690 training cards and 51 character cards which equal to 15,300 diamonds are needed. All of his skill is very useful. If you really want to save the cost, just level up the top 3 first, which cost you about 450 training cards and 36 characters card. Let's see how to defense Jim. The blocking point is the same as shooter. When he pull the ball up to his head, just block. 
Positioning is the corner of the fin shape or the corn shape zone. And now we see his side step. If Jin is going to shoot with first side step, he will hold the ball after the side step. Means he is going to shoot. Even worse for the second side step animation, he will hold the ball at one hand. The defender can see it clearly and just follow him to the next spot and treat him a nice block. This is because Jin can't pass the ball after using the side step. This makes his move very predictable. This is Jin's hand. So sorry Jin. Sorry guys, I got not much playing time. Just letting you guys see this block first. Later we'll show you more blocks and defense concept on him. If you find the contents interesting, please hit the like button and subscribe my channel. See you guys. Bye bye. I will be back.